finally get to it. But other than that, we have made it into the pirate's uh, fortress. We have three bottles, so hopefully we should be able to make this. Could be something very obvious I'm missing. No one can roll me in. Uh, I did this game a few months ago earlier. I was bored. You should remember this part. Let's see. Oh no, I think I had to push the block in worse. That's what I did wrong. Sea mines. These aren't like the rocks in um, Ocarina of Time that turn into those things. They're just uh, basically sea mines. So uh, see, I think they'll take you outside. So don't get caught in current. They'll be uh, in the water, in like water tanks. They won't be in treasure chests or anything like that. And we'll have to catch them with a bottle. So we have enough bottles for that. Oops. I misfired. Oh yeah, essentially the this is your boomerang. In this game, the dwarf is. out of here and into the main 
remain part of the Gerudo's uh, fortress, which means that we'll have to wear um, to wear the uh, mask. Ah. I didn't act fast enough. Come on. Oh, I missed. Yeah, I'm not a good aim with these things. I'm out of practice. There we go. Oh. Come on. I'm just gonna use the arrow now. Because <laughs> I'm failing too hard with the door fence. I might have lifted too high because I think. Yeah, because of that. Okay. Here's the fortress. You can see it's uh, very heavily guarded with tons of gurus everywhere. We need to get to that landing up there. That's where we need to get first. Um, as you can see, it's kind of—it's sort of hard to sneak around. You can sneak around the edges and outside, but we don't have the hook shot to do that yet. We will soon. But again, this is why I brought the stone mask. Okay. I'm gonna get the fins on because I need to unlock these mines out of the way. Yeah, you knock them into each other and they'll explode. We just need to get those two out of the way and then we'll open the door. Okay. I'm gonna put on the mask because I'm pretty sure we're going outside now. I was right. But again, I've never touched an enemy wearing the stone mask, so I'd recommend not doing that just so you can avoid getting caught by the Grudos. Just be careful, otherwise you'll be fine. I th in fact, I think they'll look towards you if you're wearing a stone mask, but they won't do anything. It's like, hmm, it's like they see something, but they can't. Let's try it right now, because I'm willing to get caught once. So, see? They're just staring, they're like, hmm, what's going on over there? That's quite interesting. But, now that we've got that done, actually, let's, uh, no, don't keep the picture. Yeah, just keep that picture. Hey, Gerudo. Bye, Gerudo. This part officially becomes a cakewalk once you have the stone mask, which is why I did that much earlier. It's not too random. Pirates do not have all the Zora eggs. They only have, I think, four or three. The others are in a place called, um, Spire Rock or Pinnacle Rock. I'll have to wait, because I can't remember what it's called. Yeah. 
Right, there are four eggs in the fortress. And the other three, right, they're by the spire rock where there are sea snakes. The sea snakes aren't too hard to take care of, but they can be annoying. But we'll get to that when we actually get to it. The dragon cloud, yeah. It's that, um, I'll show it to you because I don't think I showed it to you when we entered the area. Yeah, essentially the Skull Kid, according to this, the Skull Kid told them that if they got the uh, Zora eggs, they could be able to get to the uh, dragon rock cloud thing in the distance covered in fog. And if they do that, they could actually um, get treasure in there, which is what they're after. Unfortunately, they've been duped. It's just a trap to pretty much get them killed. can't just walk in there with the stone mask on, they'll actually see you if you try going in there with the stone mask on. I think it's the only exception to the stone mask. But now that we've cleared the room, we can start clearing out the eggs. First egg over here. Uh, let me equip the hook shot. Yeah, those clam enemies are back from the arena. Ow. There we go. Now we need to carry them in a one egg and then I'll get the others. That way we don't have to explore this whole place and then just, then I remember maybe like I need one more bottle or else I can't collect the other eggs. Actually I think I know where you can get another bottle right in the Great Bay but I forgot about it. And right if you go down a little further than where I went. Uh, actually I'll put it out right now. If I sync the auto correctly. Uh, past that way, up to the south. If you go a little along the ways along the beach, you should find like beavers or something. And if you do something for them or something in the like, um, they'll give you a um, they'll give you a bottle. I forgot about that though. It's too late now though. Over there is the temple, which is what they call the Dragon Rock or something, Dragon Cloud. But over there, that's where we need to go. We can't get to it yet because it's covered in storm, in like storms. The pirates will try to get to it, but that's not gonna work. All right, real quickly, we're gonna turn in the first egg of seven. Sometimes you have to do it like right in the middle. There we go. That's one. I 
I could turn in the picture to the guy and actually do the spiral rock area first over uh, that way. But I don't want to do that yet because that's just... Uh, I had to get the forge stuff first. Especially since pretty much we pretty much have a guarantee that we can get through it without too much trouble. Again, if you haven't gotten the stone mask yet, you should definitely get it because it just really makes this part that much easier. <laughs> 